All right, I'm going to do a series of tests uh, using HD Tune on my flash drives. The first one is the cheapest one I've got, uh, Data Traveler, Kingston Data Traveler, 2 gigabyte. That's, uh, that's what it looks like. So we'll move on to the results here, and I'll do, uh, I think, six of them, five of them, five different ones. Let's see what we get. So as you can see, the results on the Kingston Data Traveler 2 gigabyte flash drive are uh, 16 minimum, 19.2 maximum, an average of 18.9, burst rate of 14.7. Uh, so I'll move on to the next one. Now my next one is another Kingston data traveler uh, but this one is a newer one uh, it's a 16 gigabyte as you can see right there so we'll try this one out here's the results on the Kingston data traveler 16 gigabyte uh, looks like quite a bit different from the uh, 2 gigabyte version Minimum 18.2, maximum 33.3, .3, with an average of 32 megabytes per second. Burst rate of 15.7, and uh, don't recall, but I think that access time is a little bit lower, too. So, pretty interesting. Um, I'll move on to the next one here. Okay, the next one is a PNY attaché. Uh, I believe this one is a yeah, 2 gigabyte, 2 gigabyte version. Kingston atta or a PNY attaché. 2 gigabyte. So we'll try that out right now. And here are the results for the PNY Attaché 2 gigabyte. 18.7 uh, minimum, 20 maximum, average of 19.3. And it looks like that access time is pretty consistent through all of them, 0. 0.6 or 0. 0.7. And this one had a burst rate of 17.2. So, again, that's the PNY Attaché 2 gigabyte flash drive. Okay, my next one is uh, the same thing, a PNY Attaché, but this one is an 8 gigabyte. And uh, this is also the one that I use to install all my Windows installations. It's It's got a copy of... Windows 7 on it right now that I've manipulated to install any version of Windows 7 from basic up to ultimate. So I'm going to run the uh, the uh, hard HD tune test but I'm not going to take off the Windows installation so it'll have about 3 gigabytes of uh, files and it's also this one's also uh, formatted in NTFS. So we'll see what happens. See what kind of results we get with uh, this PNY 8 gigabyte formatted in NTFS. Here are the results for the PNY attaché 8 gigabyte formatted in NTFS with an installation of Windows on it. Uh, it looks like 21 minimum 21.1, 21.8 for the maximum, 21.7 for the average, so you talk about consistency, that's a picture of consistency there. Burst rate of 19.2, so, and that access time staying about the same for all of them. So, we'll move on to the next one, see what we get. Okay, the next one is a SanDisk Cruiser 
8 gigabyte. And this is the one I've had about the longest, I think. It's got all my uh, little applications and stuff on it, so it's not empty, but it is uh, formatted in FAT32. So, let's see what we get on this one. So, the results for the SanDisk Cruiser 8GB 25.5 minimum, 27.6 maximum, 26.7 average. The access time again stays at uh, point, uh, point 0.6 and a burst rate of 22.7. So, I think I do have a couple other flash drives around, but this will be the last one I test. So, pretty interesting results. Uh, take them for what they are. You know, this is just one test of the HD Tune 2.55, is what I'm using. Um, it is set in the settings for on the speed accuracy it's kind of right in between I think it's what comes as default and they've all been at a 64 uh, block size 64 kilobyte block size so you know take these for what they are but I thought it was interesting to, to see so. have a good one guys